Mira. I just finished an agility workout and actually I've been getting a lot of questions about the quality of my iPhone 12. So today, you know, this is what we're doing this live. <laughs> There's no setup right now. I'm going to walk you through a stretching routine. It's actually my own uh, stretching routine that I do after a pretty intense cardio workout. As you can see, I'm looking kind of disheveled from the workout, but that's all good because it's about feeling good. And I do feel good right now. Um, Funny enough, I've been also getting some questions as to why do I have a blanket up in a lot of my videos. That's because that's Momo's baby gate or doggy puppy gate so he can't run out. But okay, so cool thing, sorry, cool thing about this video. I'm going to film both on my iPhone 12 and I have my mirrorless uh, Fujifilm camera up at the same time. So it's almost like we're doing like a side-by-side -side product review and stretching video in one. Okay, enjoy. Hey everyone. So we're filming the first shot outdoors to show you the ease um and i guess what i'm comparing in this segment is going to be ease of filming outdoors because as you can see i'm super bundled up because i live in canada and today it's minus 10 degrees celsius outside that's before the wind chill it's very cold i'm wearing two sweaters two pairs of track pants like <laughs> um and yeah so i'm gonna be doing the same shot again with the fuji film mirrorless but look at that this is a very clear, crisp camera. Sorry, I had to turn around because Momo is kind of getting around me. He is on this walk with me. So we're using Momo's walk as a chance to film. So uh, in terms of taking out your phone camera, even in this frigid cold temperature, like for me, that was something to consider because I, I actually, despite being born in Canada, don't love the cold. It's nice to have something that's so easy to pull out and film. And based on what I'm seeing so far, the video quality is astounding. Okay, so this is the front camera shot. We got Momo leading the way because he has joined me for this walk to film outdoors. And we have something kind of funny to show you guys. Come on, Momo. So we take different paths to walk Momo every day, but this here, and look at that beautiful sunlight. You know, we got some natural, gorgeous light in this video. This is the front camera again of the iPhone 12. This you're looking at, I know you don't see much because it's fully covered in snow. Again, we're in Canada. This is Drake's high school. This is the high school that he he went to. So right now, we'll pass by the building in a moment. But again, the ease of pulling the camera out. I guess Momo and I are continuing the Hollywood city walk tour, celebrity tour, the Toronto version for you. By, so I'm going to throw up Momo's <laughs> feet. Uh, this is, yeah, this is Drake's high school. And the reason why I'm also filming this shot right now is earlier I was actually filming with my AirPods. So the mic that I was speaking into is the AirPods mic, right? So, which by the way, if that's the thing that's important for you, it's kind of cool because for me that, that's a plus. I like to be able to like, if I'm switching between listening to music or a podcast or something, and then being able to film, like you have the mic right beside your mouth. But anyway, okay, so here, just so, so that we get, you don't feel ripped off, is a clear shot of Drake's high school. If you're into his music and you don't want, you wanted to see where he went during his teenage years. Good morning, everyone. So I'm now filming on Deja Vu. We're now taking Momo on his walk, but we're vlogging for all intents and purposes with the Fujifilm xt 3 mirrorless camera. So, you know, I have to say that this experience right off the bat, let's talk about the setup. It's a very different experience, if, especially for someone who's quite amateur like myself. I do have an additional mic plugged on to here and that's to improve the audio quality especially since i like to make fitness videos and you know okay so let's talk about ease uh, compared to the iphone 12 i can th i think you can already tell right like i first of all just getting out of the house had to get over my own head i was like this is a little i'm feeling self-conscious because i'm walking around with what looks kind of like an intense camera a mic plugged on top of the camera and everything to make a video and you know what that's okay that's okay but it's it's one of those things where it's a lot more intense looking it's not as low-key if you're if you're just trying to like film your life oh momo found something and make vlogs it's probably not going to be as easy if you're whipping out a big camera like this I do want to stress that I was making, as I was thinking about all of this, I, that's why I will give away the ending of this, that like, 
I, I think a camera like the XC3 mirrorless, if we're just going to make this video purely for comparing the audio and video quality, so like is it, like the question becomes, can you get away in 2021, which is something like the iPhone 12, which has already made so many advancements in their camera, I would say, obviously, you have to ask your question in terms of being outcome focused, right? If you're trying to make a film like a short film or something look at the mirrorless it's going to be way better you have this control i look very pro i look pretty professional on the street right now i'm like zooming in and out by holding the lens that's like my definition of looking professional uh yeah but if you're just trying to make quick videos with your dog out and about um this is again my neighbors are kind of looking at me wondering what i'm doing so again it's you do have to take that into account especially if you're like a lifestyle vlogger and you want to get out there and just film things really quickly and like i mentioned it's um and the weight is a lot heavier and in doing this i had to actually get a bracelet contraption that i attached to the camera to make sure that i will drop the camera because momo does sometimes tug on his leash and that you have to be mindful of if you want to carry if you're traveling and you're going out there and it's it's a lot of extra weight to carry so this is what the audio and video is like with the mic i'm going to turn off the mic in a second okay and now we're filming mr momo walking and this is the mic's sorry the camera's own mic so do compare that to the iphone 12. i am no longer using my additional plug in mic for the camera and we are once again walking by drake's high school <laughs> Overall, when it comes to lighting, the iPhone 12 does have very optimized software for helping you out. There really isn't much that you have to do as long as, you know, obviously if the room is visibly lit. Here, I actually made a mistake. I didn't know much about the X-T3 mirrorless needing something called white balancing. There is a higher ceiling though, once you do know how to use the lighting properly and you light the room nicely, there's a lot more that you can do with the X-T3. But I would say if you're just trying to get something where you can have fantastic lighting and it's out of the box the iphone 12 kind of wins in that way so for this round i'm gonna say it's a tie because you know they're both really good for different reasons So compared to the X-T3, the iPhone 12 is obviously very limited in its ability to zoom and even uh, it's still also limited compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Okay, so now the ceiling is super high. Not only is the zoom quite beautiful and the imagery is sharp while we do that, there's focus, there's just, it's a very different territory altogether. So I would say if you're looking to make a film again, so it could be a short film or you're basically really into filmmaking, this is definitely more of the camera you wanna go with. I mean, take a look at the zoom right now. We're really basically up in Momo's face. So in terms of overall quality and value, I mean, you're still getting an iPhone 12, like a phone with the iPhone 12. However, I really do enjoy making videos and films. So I'm really grateful and happy that I have the X-T3 Fujifilm. I think it's a really great entry level camera, especially with all the manual controls. That said, this action shot is currently being taken on an iPhone 12. So really it's about how much you're willing to edit and get creative. I think you can be super resourceful. And besides, there's nothing wrong if you want to just spend all your days vlogging and taking videos of your dog. You might look something like this with the X-T3. Okay, everyone, well, that's my video comparing my iPhone 12 to the camera that I used to record my regular videos. I know I often release exercise videos, but please do leave me a comment below to let me know if you like these vlog types or review types of videos, and I'm happy to make some more. And please do subscribe. I'll see you next time.